It's finished easily to Notts County nil. Devastating result for Notts. I think that puts us down to 10th in the league. You know, the stats really don't make for good reading. We've got one point from a possible 15 in those in the 15 points available. So the last five games, we've scored three goals. Um, it, it's relegation form. If we're going to be blunt and honest, it's relegation form. The team just, I don't know what it is. They, they just can't seem to pick up a, a run. They can't seem to keep their confidence high. They can't seem to put away, you know, chances that you'd back them every day of the week to be putting away. And it, it's it's costing us points, it's costing us games. It's, it's cost, it, and I think it's going to cost us the playoffs if we carry on like this. You know, we've got less than 10 games left now to sort of somehow turn it around and try and get some some points on the board. But after tonight, when you're thinking they should have got some good confidence with the point away we got at Torquay, don't get me wrong. I think every fan wanted the three points with the way that we played. And obviously, we cruelly lost out on those two points in the 97th minute. But the way we played in that game, was it was it was unbelievable. You know, to think we'd not been playing that great. It was the best performance I've had under Birchnell by... By far, he admitted that himself. And it's just gave us no confidence going into this game. Don't get me wrong, I think we started the game okay. I think the first half, we were the better side. But we're just missing, missing sitters, uh, absolute sitters. Wharton's missed two or three chances today where you, you, you'd you back him any day of the week to put in the back of the net. And it's just it's so frustrating. You know, I was trying to a few knots hands throughout the game and at half-time. Um, at half-time, you know, it wasn't too bad. But throughout the game in the second half... You know, you're just sort of thinking, what what have we got to do? Um, there's just we just don't seem to have the answers. We're not creating anywhere near enough chances. But I do feel sort of like that's the way we've set up today. So you you look across the pitch today, we don't really have any creative minded players on there. I mean, you could maybe argue Reeves is a creative player. He's created quite a bit this season, got a few assists. But other than Reeves, I mean. Who's creating the chances? You know, got Enzio sitting on the bench. You got Rodriguez sitting on the bench. It's I, I, we need at least one of those players to be on the pitch to be sort of creating chances or giving through balls or anything like that tonight and and Morton because as it comes as it shows at the minute they haven't just got the service that they need to have multiple chances. I mean, don't get me wrong. That's that's not an excuse because today we had an open opportunity to get goals. Morton, like I said, I already said, had two or three chances. So yeah, massively, I just feel really deflated at the moment, quite dejected after that second half performance. I really thought, I just really thought after Saturday, we'd, that was sort of things clicking under Birchall and we were going to sort of see a bit of a, a, a bit of a resurrection really, but it, it's just not happened. And it, it, it's, it's been said too many times now, you know, the false dawns, you, you just sort of feel like now we just need to see out the season and if we can creep into the playoffs, maybe, maybe so. But, you know, I don't think I'm alone in saying after tonight, it, I'm starting to worry a bit if we're even going to make the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, but, you know, I'm going to try and pluck out a few positives. I thought night was really good today. You know, he, he, he had a few opportunities to show his pace where he knocked it around the player. Didn't quite get it on the last defender, but he showed that he backed himself to, to, to get that ball and put it past the defender and use his pace to get past. I thought Griffiths was good as well today. Um... Obviously, he started over O'Brien because O'Brien's picked up a bit of an injury, but I thought he did quite well. You know, he was in the right place in the right time quite a, quite a few times in that game. So for such a young player, who's you know obviously a long learner to, to be in in those positions. You know, credit to him; he's played quite well today. But yeah, on on the whole, I mean, I don't really feel like I can say say much more. I'm quite gutted at the moment. Um, I'd love to know what everyone else thinks, whether you agree or disagree with what I'm saying. I honestly don't know what to say. It's just just a team that doesn't really seem to have any answers. The defence have just looked just not like they did under Ardley. Ardley had really sort of shown that it like tightened that defence. Um but they just look so so leaky now and so easy to penetrate. I mean their their second goal, I mean I don't know, even their first goal, it they're just so avoid such avoidable goals. And I mean, God help us if we do get in the playoffs because we're going to struggle like hell if we play like we did today. But yeah, I'm going to leave it on that note anyway because I could talk about how I'm feeling all night, but it's not going to it's not going to expand my feelings on the game. Love to know what you guys think. So let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.